Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry and today is Wednesday, February 23rd. The time is around 2.30 a.m. GMT. And for today, we're going to be talking about the NASDAQ. <coughs> we're going to be talking from the short term point of view as well as medium term. Uh, a little bit more of the medium term, the long term, to give you an idea where we are, what we think, and also what will be uh, the alternate scenarios, right? Now, of course, uh, when talking about the alternate scenarios, I will be focusing on the primary view we have also, uh, but I will, of course, talk about the alternate scenarios, all right? So this is the 60 minutes chart. Now, first of all, uh, we don't really get too much out of the 60 minutes in the case of the NASDAQ, but that's why we're also going to be talking a little bit about the, the medium term, longer term. Okay. Now, um, the 60 minutes chart simply suggests that we should see more downside well below 14,672. I think that is a pretty straightforward interpretation, right? Um, and we got this WX structure so we have a double zigzag we have ABC within the W and we're looking for another EB potentially and then select on the downside now of course until you break below A again this can become a double if you're just talking about 15 minutes uh, uh, you know like uh, alternate we can be doing a double before going down but as long as we stay below 14.622 we could see another leg down right so that is pretty straightforward now let's take a look at the medium term longer term which is more interesting in my opinion uh, if I look at the daily time frame and I will put the X in W in blue degree here intermediate degree and place it on the daily time frame which is this one but uh, if we take a look at the daily time frame on the NASDAQ uh, we can see right here that um, the all-time high we had was on November last year, right? November 2021. Now from here we got this sequence of lower low, which just uh, recently broke below this previous low on January 25th. So we made a new low and the sequence continues to be a lower low. Now there are two ways for us to interpret this move down with this break below here, right? One way is to say that this move down is a five ways, five ways down from November 2021, like a one, two, because you can see this one looks to be pretty extended. So I, you know, we cannot completely rule out the idea that this is a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, now you got what looks like a three swing here, but this could be expanded flat. So we can have one here. So let's skip to give you an idea a possibility here this could be labeled as a one this could be labeled as a two right and then as an expanded flat and this could be a three a four and then a five so that's one possible way to label it but another possible way to label it is um, this one is actually a connector uh, from the peak so in other words this cycle ended here this is your correction and the correction is over, we break through the downside again. Now in this case, you label this cycle as a three swing. One, two, three, right? So this will be some kind of a W, if that's the case, and this will be your X. That's another way to label it, right? And then now you are already breaking below the low, so you start the, ne the new bearish leg in that case, and possibly can extend all the way down to the 100% extension of this WX and we can all go all the way down here. So one one way to think about it is a, a WXY. Another way is is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then obviously we wouldn't have too much extension to the downside because we are at the end of the wave 5 and we could be complete any time to be honest if it is a wave 5. So there are two different ways for you to interpret this uh, structure here. Now I think one way to confirm which one is more likely than the others is by looking at the other US indices. Like if you take a look at the Dow futures or the ES, now you notice here in the case of the Dow daily time frame, 
Now there is no question that if the Dow is also able breaking below here, nobody will try to count this as a one, two, three, four, five, right? I mean, what kind of wave four is this, right? With a very big rally and you know almost uh, you know uh, sixty one point eight percent retracement. So in other words, if the Dow breaks below here, if we can see the Dow breaking below here, then there is no doubt that this is actually a connector from the peak. And then that means we are extending lower in the Y. Same case when, when you take a look at the ES, which is the SNB futures here. Now you can also see we almost break below the low. And this one also, I don't think this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we break below here, this wave 4 is way too big to be wave 4. And um, if you don't, you know, you can look at the RSI as well. You can try, you know, to draw some kind of uh, trend line. Uh, now in this case the RSI trend line also has not been broken I think more or less but again I think this one is way too too big to be with four from the peak so this if it breaks below here <clears throat> this is your connector here again and then the implication is extending lower to the next hundred percent so if we can see ES or the Dow breaking below that low which is uh, pretty likely I will give it a pretty a decent chance to happen uh, then that means you know the Nasdaq is going to be kind of uh, uh, confirm that um, the Nasdaq will be likely will be likely this scenario in which this is not a five waves but rather this is your connector and then we start the new leg lower now Nasdaq already break the low obviously as you guys know whereas the Dow and the S&P or the ES has not done so okay so then, um, assuming now I'm I'm gonna make assumption here, assuming the Nash, uh, the Dow and the uh, SNB break this previous low as well, joining the Nasdaq, then I think this is more likely scenario uh, in the Nasdaq compared to one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, if this is, if you agree with the assessment, and this is probably the more likely structure. Uh, right and and then you think the Dow and the SMB can break below that previous low back in late January right so then we're gonna be starting the next leg lower in the Nasdaq and it can bring us to all the way down to this one 12,240 right now then we're gonna be talking in the shorter cycle now about this move down from this peak what sort of possible scenarios we can have now you can see from this high we got one two three four five right five swing is not a corrective sequence it is uh, in fact it is a uh, a motive sequence five swing right that calls for another leg down that calls for another leg down now one possible way to count this move down from x is what we are presenting which is to say that this is a a b c w X and then another ABC. Now, if you measure the ego leg of this WX, now you can see this is the 100% extension. So, again, this could be ABC, and then this is your A, like what we are showing, what we see here. A, let me put it here if you want to see. So, this is ABC, uh, ABC W, and then another ABC again. A, B, C, and then you will have another A, B, C again here. Uh, and the B may or may not be complete. Uh, if it is not complete, we're going to be doing a double like this to finish the B before turning lower again, right? So if it is a W, X, Y, then yes, we could see another leg down to this area. And from this area, we're going to be ending a bigger W, right? A bigger W. So this one actually, I need to, uh, I need to upgrade this one into a, even a larger degree. So let's see here. Okay, something like this. Um, Right, the degree is very important because uh, it will tell you exactly. Uh, let me double check the degree here. 
Now inside the member area, uh, we have this uh, this degree, this different degree from the grand super cycle all the way to sub minuet, right? So we got this. So we got the primary degree here, intermediate degree here. So I think one higher degree is this cycle degree, which is in red color, and uh, WXY. Okay, so so we could be doing something like this here. Right, and then now you're looking for again. So if you look, if if all you care about is the one hour, you don't really get an idea of the overall structure, uh, and it is very important, especially if you are trading or analyzing using Elliott Wave, to have an idea of where you are in all time frame. Okay. So here, one possibility is calling it this way, right? And then you get a B and a C uh, to finish the W. And then finishing this cycle, and then you got an X, and then you continue to go down again, right? You continue to go down again to hit this 100% extension of this, right? So that will be in the target on the downside 12,200. But another possible way to count this, and again, guys, if you don't <laughs> like alternate if you because you don't understand elite wave then you know you don't need to worry about this but if you understand elite wave you will appreciate what the possibilities are now over here you got one two three four five it could be a diagonal it could be a diagonal one two three four five that ends an a here now what's the difference and the difference is if if this is actually the one taking place Right, this is not WX, so this is in fact three and four. And this is your wave five over here. Right? And that means we could be in fact ending A here. So the difference then in this scenario, you could actually rally to correct you could actually rally to correct this entire decline, the five wish that the five wish diagonal, right? So you can actually uh, rally to correct that. So if you rally to correct this decline, then the rally is going to be a bigger rally, right? You're going to have a a bigger through this rally from the lows to correct this entire decline. Uh, let's say a big three-ish rally like this. Not a big, I mean, it's, it's just a slightly larger degree rally, right? Now some, you know, uh, short-term traders will think this is a very big rally and they freaked out because they have no idea what's going on. But it's just a three-ish rally, it's possible. And then from here, we can go down again uh, to complete the C-leg, right? So there are two paths to do it, and everything is under the assumption this is the right structure, it's not a five wish down from here. One possible way is what we are showing, in which this is a WX, uh, which needs another leg lower to finish another W, and then you got an X and a Y. Another way is to say that this, this is a five wish down ending A, and then you got a bigger rally first in the B, but then as long as we stay below here, which is your February 2nd peak, we're still going to go down again to continue uh, the move on the downside, okay? So I hope um, I hope this is clear. And uh, again, if you, if you understand Elliott Wave, um, if you have a moderate, decent understanding of Elliott Wave, you will understand uh, the possibilities and also the idea here okay and yeah so that's what we are calling for right now so calling for more downside uh, shorter cycle against 14672 but I think the more important level is not 14672 the more important level is this one actually right which is your 15,270 uh, now this is really the key level the better key level as long as we stay below here we can continue to go down uh, to complete this what looks to be a lower low structure here now if the Dow or S&P breaks below that late January low this is going to get 
more validation the structure right and not like a one two three four five right uh, so that's uh, the update on the Nasdaq and as always if you want to get more updates on Nasdaq or any other indices, indices uh, Forex commodities cryptos uh, we do have 14 days trial the link is provided in the description of the video I'll see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone